Hello Jedis, uh, this is my first little video on how I'm building my electronic system for the Periscope uh, that uh, Matt Zwartz put together. Um, and uh, I finally found uh, the three LEDs. I was waiting for these LEDs to come in. And now that I have those, I can kind of explain how I'm going to put all these electronics into uh, my Periscope. So um, let me just kind of show you um, what I did here, I took Matt's uh, Periscope dome top there um, and added a few little things. I added these um, magnetic mounts here so that when the Pi panel comes on, it'll just click on to these. And um, I also added um, three holes in the back for some LEDs. So as, from what I can see um, watching videos, and the movies and whatnot, there's like five sets of LED lights in this little area. So first of all, there's these three here. And um, I know I know with all of this, you can program them to mimic certain movies, you know, Empire Strikes Back and whatnot. Um, but what I wanted to do is not have them triggered a certain way. I just wanted to have an autonomous... A uh, set of lights that turn on when the dome pops out because I've got so many programmable things now uh, with R2 that I would just like to have it just do its own thing and have a set um, sequence of uh, lights that that flash. So anyways, these back three, they will blink and change color. And what I found online are these LEDs here, and they're all standalone LEDs. And you don't have to hook them up to a microcontroller. They've got a little a device inside of each of them that allows them to blink and change uh, two different colors. So I'm just going to have them randomly going on the back. So that's one set. Uh, the other set of lights is this top scanner here, and it's got seven LEDs in it. Um, so what I did is I made this 3D printed, uh, or I, I resin printed this um, set where I've got these little three millimeter LEDs in the back. And it plugs right in underneath here, it just gets glued in and they scan and they have actually a couple different patterns. And then for the lower scanner here, I've got these LEDs and they're rectangular and there's six of them. And I've got them in the pattern so that there's, you know, one vertical one here, three horizontal and two verticals. And they, in this system here, I just glued them together. I just see I glued them together. They fit perfectly inside of this little uh, rectangle right there. Um, and then, so that's two more sets there. The fourth set is inside of here, which is the solar panel uh, area. Um, what I did is I made my own little array of NeoPixels. You can buy these in a sheet. You can break them off, uh, have them individual if you want, but I just made it um, three by three. So I've got nine NeoPixels there and they're gonna go inside of here and they're gonna be controlled by a uh, Arduino Nano. And then on the sides here, I found these Adafruit uh, jewels and they fit perfectly inside of here. So those are the different five different sets. So the way I've got it programmed on here is I'm going to have uh, basically um, two Arduino Nanos running all of this. So um, what I did is I made this little insert and you can hopefully see here you've got two holes there two in the other side, and this fits right in like that, and it's gonna get glued in. And these NeoPixel jewels will um, get attached to those little holes inside, so they're a fair distance back. And then, same on the other side, and then this array here gets um, gl glued onto the front of that, so it's set back a bit. And then I'm gonna have this little um, breadboard here. I'm, I've got it. Um, so I'm going to have two nanos on here uh, because there's two nanos that control them there. And then this is just going to tuck right into here. And I'm just going to have it kind of loose so that I can pull it out if I need to and uh, reprogram it uh, if needed. So that's going to just kind of fit into that little system like that. So that's my intent. I'm going to be doing that next. I'm probably going to paint the inside of this black because I don't want any stray lights to be flickering about inside of there. Uh, and then the, the front will be my same color as R2. I'm going to be doing that in Olympic white. 
So uh, let me just put this over here and just kind of show you how the electronics are going to work. So I've got two nanos. Um, I've got this nano controlling these seven LEDs that scan and these six that scan. So that's all that one's doing. I've got these three for the back and they just blink. And then I've got, uh, and change color. And then I've got this nano controlling all of my NeoPixels. So it will do um, a little display here and then stop, set it to a certain color or intensity level, turn these guys on, stop, same thing, back and forth. And that's how that's gonna work. So let me just turn on my power supply and I'll show you how they light up. So you can see here, I've got um, this nanos operating these and they're scanning back and forth. Uh, and then at the same time, um, this guy here is also doing his little scan thing. And it looks like, you know, they're together, but you know, what I've got is I've got this one going, then one, that one on here, and then that one and that one, that one and that one and back and forth um, with a little timer. So uh, that's how I've got that set up. Down here, I've got, these guys are doing their thing. And then when they're finished, this guy will do his thing uh, and then set to a certain intensity level. And then, uh, or that one's in off mode right now. And then these ones turn on and back and forth. So that's kind of how it's all gonna look once it's inside of here. Uh, the other thing I did is I resin printed this little uh, lens for the front. So uh, it's gonna be about that far away. If I had clear resin, I would use it, and I probably will in the future, uh, or even make one out of acrylic so it's more transparent. But this is with a 0.5 millimeter uh, shell. So I just thought I'd try that out, and it uh, gets plugged right in to the back like that. Okay, And then for my sides, I picked up a little cutting board that's uh, translucent, um, and it's got a bit of a frosting to it. Um, and that's going to be the covers for the new pixel jewels. So hope you like that setup. Um, I'm going to put it all together in the next few days. I'll take another video uh, with it running inside of this, this little um, periscope. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye now.